Hi everyone, Tao here. We're approaching the one year birthday for this guy right here, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Today, I wanted to talk about my experience having used it since day one. Let's get into it. Physically, the phone is still in almost perfect condition and that's because it's been in a case 24 seven with a screen protector. And as beautiful as the phone is without a case, my clumsy self would definitely drop and shatter it. A case also makes the phone easier to hold and keeps my fingers from accidentally touching the curved edges. Coming with a 4000 milliamp hour battery, Samsung marketed the Note 9 as an all day battery. And for the most part, it definitely lives up to that. There have been times where I'm working in areas with poor reception and it gets a little dicey on the battery front. Luckily, I always have several power banks on hand for those situations. I'm literally that girl where the moment someone says their battery is about to die, I'll pop up out of nowhere with some juice. Are you serious? Low battery already? Low battery? Don't worry, I got you fam. What do you need? Lightning? Type C? No? Oh. You old school. Micro USB? I will say, battery life did take a hit with the One UI update, but it's settled back to normal since then. You know what's insane? I still get comments on my iOS to Android video from people warning me of lag. Don't buy a Samsung, it'll lag after three months. Even friends and clients make that assumption. And I mean, that's their experience, so they're entitled to it. For me though, outside of the random stutter here and there, my experience has been very smooth. I mean, not iPhone smooth, but far from laggy. You can also turn on reduced animations which I've found to speed things up. I mean, check out how things just flow from one screen to the next. Love it. I'm not going to lie, I was tempted by the 512 gigabyte storage option, but decided to save some money and went with the 128 instead. After a year of use, I can honestly say that I made the right decision. I've used just a little over half my storage up until this point, and honestly, I can't see myself hitting 128 gigabytes anytime soon. There's also an SD card slot as a cheaper way to add more storage anyways. Let's talk about the cameras. Samsung offering pro mode in their camera software is great, but honestly, most of us just want something that we can pull out, point, and shoot. My two gripes with the Note 9's camera are motion blur and soft looking selfies. In one of my videos, someone left a comment saying that lowering exposure helps with the motion blur. After some testing, it actually does, but that extra step takes time and could lead to you missing that special moment. The selfie camera tends to take photos that are softer, especially on skin. Don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people who prefer this, but truthfully, the Pixel 3's camera just has me a little spoiled. Basically, if you prefer the softer, more flattering selfies and don't take pictures of moving objects often, the Note 9 is great and you'll be a happy camper. If you're crafty enough, you could install the Google camera on the Note 9, and that pretty much solves both my complaints. Where the Note 9 kills it though, is video recording. You could seriously run a YouTube channel with this thing. Every time I shoot some footage with it, I'm immediately impressed at how good it looks. Throw it on a gimbal like I did in my last video, and I guarantee you, most people will not believe it's shot on a phone. Moving on to the Note's defining feature, the S Pen. The addition of Bluetooth to the S Pen allowed for remote based actions, like snapping pictures or skipping slides in presentations. We were promised more support for it from third party apps, but unfortunately, that never really took off. The S Pen is something I don't use every single day, but when I need it, I'm so glad it's there. It's a tool I value a lot in a work device, allowing me to sign contracts, mark up documents, or just jot down notes during meetings. 
Outside of work settings though, the S Pen will likely see very little use from me. What about Dex? Honestly, if I didn't have a laptop and computer at home, I would totally use it more often. The whole phone into computer concept has a lot of potential. For some, I can even see it completely replacing the need for a dedicated computer at home. Just plug it into a TV, pair it with a Bluetooth keyboard plus mouse, and you're good to go. I believe the next version of Android will include a similar desktop mode, so I'm excited to see how the idea evolves over time. A big part of why I enjoy the phone so much is credit to, you guessed it, good luck. If you own the Note 9 or are planning to pick one up, please do yourself a favor and install good luck. The collection of apps unlocks a whole new layer of customization that makes you wonder why Samsung just doesn't make it standard. From bringing back a quick gesture for launching split screen to custom edge based gestures, there's just so many goodies to discover. I've actually done quite a few videos on Goodluck, so I'll link them down below if you're curious as to what it can do. The Note 9 isn't perfect, but it still offers as close to a complete package as you'll find today. Outside the camera software and for some, the Bixby button, there really aren't that many compromises. I loved it when I first got it and it's still serving me well to this day. Anyways, if you own the Note 9, let me know your experience down below. Bye for now.